Bye-bye if you can't adapt to drones in the era of modern battlefield warfare. And Russia is the country that has most effectively addressed how to protect tanks from drone attacks in various ways. What efforts has Russia made so far? The problem is that tanks, as primary combat vehicles, have significant weaknesses, especially blind spots, particularly when the tank is fully enclosed. When the doors and armor of the tank are closed, the crew is trapped in a significant field of view limitation, unable to see threats coming from all directions. This becomes a serious issue because the dynamic and fast-paced battlefield often presents unpredictable threats. In general, a tank commander has the advantage of a 360-degree view through the turret's cupola. With this position, they can monitor the surroundings more broadly. However, other crew members are often more limited in their field of vision. The driver, for instance, can only see straight ahead, relying on a narrow windshield. The gunner, on the other hand, can only see through optics mounted on the turret, limited to what the cupola can point to. Even more challenging, threats often come from unexpected directions, frequently from above the tank. This becomes a much bigger problem, especially when the enemy uses agile and fast small arms. On the other hand, while tanks today operate in groups, working together with other armored vehicles and using more advanced technologies like periscopes with night vision sensors, which help extend the field of view and detect threats earlier, the reality remains unavoidable. Tanks, particularly those used by Western countries, are still often halted and destroyed by attacks that come unexpectedly. When a threat appears outside the field of view, a delayed response can be fatal. To what extent do drones demand a change in combat tactics? Let's dive deeper. Turtle, or Czar Barbecue, which one is your favorite nickname? Both refer to a unique phenomenon on the modern battlefield, where technology meets human ingenuity to create increasingly sophisticated protection. Russian tanks, long known for their compact and functional design, have struggled to maintain their edge in warfare. Essentially, these tanks are smaller compared to Western tanks like the Abrams or Challenger with a primary focus on thick armor and high mobility. The advantage of this design lies in its low profile, making the tank harder to spot and attack from a distance. However, with the rise of new threats on the battlefield, such as advanced anti-tank missiles like the Javelin and N-Law, Russia has been forced to adapt and enhance the protection of its combat vehicles. In recent years, Russia has worked hard to add extra protection to its tanks by installing emergency metal cages on top. This design serves as an additional shield against attacks from anti-tank missiles capable of penetrating thick armor. Initially, these metal cages appeared large and irregular, and some might say they looked quite rough. However, over time, this design has continued to evolve, transforming into something more structured and effective, though still retaining its somewhat unrefined characteristics. One of the most notable examples of this design is the T-72B, a tank originally equipped with a large and rough screen for added protection. Although not perfect, this screen was sufficient to improve the tank's resistance to missile threats. Slowly, however, the design evolved and came to be known by the nickname Turtle Tank. The addition of metal protection in various parts of the tank made it resemble a shell protecting the tortoise's body, though this did sacrifice the tank's slimmer and more compact profile. Infantry fighting vehicles, such as the BMP-1, typically known for their rather simple design, now appear in a much more unique and striking form. With additional armor covered in metal sheets and strange protruding hairs, the vehicle looks vastly different from anything seen before. This modification was made to counter the new threat posed by unmanned aerial vehicles, which have become increasingly involved in combat.
footage circulating on social media shows this vehicle near Chase of Yar, an area in the Donetsk region currently involved in intense conflict. Upon seeing it, it's hard not to be impressed by its spiky appearance and overall uniqueness. The open rear of the BMP seems to be covered by coils of steel hanging low, seemingly to prevent direct attacks. However, the most striking feature is the thick protruding hairs from its sides, resembling a giant broom ready to ward off something unseen. This design, of course, has never been seen before in this conflict, leading many to wonder about its actual function. In the growing speculation, these hairs are believed to trigger the early activation of FPV warheads before the drone directly strikes the vehicle. This certainly presents a new idea on how combat vehicles can adapt to face increasingly complex threats on the modern battlefield. At the International Defense Exhibition and Conference or IDEX 2025, Russia once again showcased its military power. One of the main highlights was the display of the full-sized main battle tank, the T-90MS, which was showcased with striking modifications. The tank appeared tougher with the addition of several advanced features, ranging from a metal cage that protects the vehicle's body, a chain layer offering extra protection, to reinforced rubber shields designed to deflect various threats. Moreover, the tank's underside was fitted with a special green leather cover designed to reduce the vehicle's heat signature and camouflage its radar footprint, providing a tactical advantage in combat. This tank, with all its equipment, is designed to face various threats, from rocket-propelled grenades to guided anti-tank missiles. Additionally, the dual protection implemented on this tank is ready to withstand attacks from anti-tank warheads, including tandem-shaped charges. Even threats from unmanned aerial vehicles and first-person view drones are not overlooked, making this vehicle truly prepared to face any battlefield and challenges in modern warfare. How do you see the progress of Russia's tank protection? Leave your thoughts, and thanks for watching.